Now in honor of the holiday tomorrow, a local man has been walking from Connellsville to Pittsburgh in an effort to raise money for the Wounded Warrior Project. Our Ricky Sayer met up with him today while he continued his journey to the Steel City. This is where Sean Rogers is set to end his walk tomorrow. He wants to get here to Point State Park by 8 in the morning so we can jump in the river, get out of the river, and then join the Memorial Day Parade. He left Connellsville at 11 this morning and says he has 24 hours at max to get here to the park, and he says he's all doing it for a special reason. Sean Rogers has no plans of slowing down anytime soon. Yeah, I'll be walking straight through, straight through the night, straight through the rain, straight through everything. The reason why is spelled out for everyone to see. Hey, I'm walking here <laughs> for 24 hours in honor of our fallen troops. We caught up with him before his friends and family peeled off. We've done 20 miles, <laughs> 40 to go, a lot of it solo. Rogers is an active duty naval gunner's mate and search and rescue swimmer. He says you often hear stories about people losing their legs in battle. What doesn't get talked about as much, especially with military members, is the mental illness that you get from the service and coming out of the military. It's something that's on his mind as he nears returning to civilian life. Obviously, you know, hurts your heart and it hurts to see. And it's also great to see them overcome those challenges and talk about it. That's why through his walk, he's raising money for the Wounded Warrior Project. They support families that struggle with mental and physical wounds from being in the service. It's not the only reason he's walking. I also have a disease in my family that um, is, it affects your ability to walk. So that's another reason why I am uh, very adamant about doing these long walks. He shared how pushing him to get through the walk is more than just his friends and family. Knowing that there's people out there that aren't able to do what I'm doing right now. Uh, and just that thought in the back of my mind that even though it might hurt, I'm still able to do it and I'm still able to overcome that. A message he's keeping in mind as he marches on. He's trying to raise $50,000, but he has even larger goals. Next year, he wants to walk across the entire country and raise money to fight the illness many in his family face. In Point State Park, Ricky Sayer, KDK TV News. Now, if you or someone you know is experiencing a mental health crisis, call the Suicide and Crisis Lifeline at 988.